Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Had a few thunderstorms roll through the Huntsville Metro early this evening, but uh, since then we have dried back out. Temperatures have cooled a little bit down to the mid 60s. That's likely about as cold as it's going to get for the rest of the night tonight. East winds are light at eight miles per hour. We had about a half inch of rainfall so far today in Decatur back toward Muscle Shoals. There was a little section of Colbert and Lauderdale counties that may have received over one inch of rain, and that's going to be an area to watch around Cherokee, uh, around Lexington. A couple of those communities may have had some higher rain totals earlier today and with more rain expected to move through those locations. Those could be a couple areas that might have a bit of a heightened risk for flood concerns tonight into Thursday. Here's what the storms looked like on radar earlier today. They started out near the shoals around four or five o'clock, produced up to dime size hail around the Quad Cities, and then gradually weakened as they moved east. And at this hour, we are pretty quiet and storm free across North Alabama. Some light showers continuing across Wayne County, extreme western portions of Lauderdale and Colbert counties, as well as western Franklin County. The rest of us are dry at this hour and uh, looks like it will stay that way for the next several hours for most of us in North Alabama. We are keeping an eye to the west though. There is a steady stream of moisture with showers and storms stretching from central Texas all the way through Louisiana, Arkansas, North Mississippi and into Tennessee. That's about where the cold front is located as virtually stalled out this evening. Eventually it's going to move through our area overnight tonight and as it continues that eastward progression, it will finally bring that rain to the west our direction late tonight and into Thursday. Thursday. Again, next several hours likely going to be quiet for most of us. It's going to be extreme northwest portions of our area from the shoals up toward near Lawrenceburg, Waynesboro, Tennessee, a couple areas that could get some additional showers and storms between now and late tonight. Eventually, as that front finally moves through, we'll have our next chances at showers and maybe some non severe storms tomorrow morning, starting from the west, progressing eastward. Uh, notice Sand Mountain likely not going to see a ton of rain tomorrow, but the better chance that rain will stay to the northwest section of our view area. Occasionally those showers may clip Huntsville, but it will be more likely a little bit farther to the west of Huntsville through the day tomorrow and tomorrow evening. Uh, flood watch is going to be in, fa in effect from midnight tonight through 1 p.m. for the counties highlighted in green. That includes Lawrence, Limestone, Lauderdale, Colbert and Franklin counties in Tennessee and Alabama. As we head toward Thursday night, more rain returns late in the night and it's likely going to stick around for a good portion of the day on Friday. No storms out of that, just a steady rain that will keep things on the cool side Friday additional rain Friday night. And then as for Saturday, we're possibly going to see some morning rain. Just kind of depends on how far north this lingers around. Eventually it should clear out uh, probably by Saturday afternoon. So by that point through the rest of the weekend, we are looking at drier conditions. Here's a look at rain totals through Thursday around 6 p.m. Highest total is certainly around the shoals. The rest of you are going to get the healthy rain after that. So we could see widespread one to two inch rain totals between now and Saturday. So plenty of moisture heading our way over the coming days. Temperature wise tomorrow, we're looking at 60s uh, most of the day. Temperatures will actually be falling tomorrow afternoon. Wide range of highs from low 80s in Fort Payne to just 50s in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Everyone's cool Cooler on Friday with highs close to 60 degrees and more of those cool low 60s expected for many of us on Saturday. Uh, those of you around Sand Mountain may be stuck in the 50s all day on Saturday. Easter Sunday looking better with likely dry conditions and highs near 70. That warming trend to the 70s will continue through the first half of next week.